Hey everyone, I'm Christopher Campbell with Henninger Media Services. In our last tutorial, we covered prepping a sequence in Adobe Premiere Pro 2019 for export to AAF for audio mixing, mastering, and sound design. Now in this tutorial, we're going to cover the creation of a reference movie with burn-in timecode, as well as the AAF itself. Now, this tutorial that you're about to get into is going to assume that you have seen and followed the steps in our previous tutorial, so if you haven't done that, go back and take a look at the tutorial on prepping a sequence from Adobe Premiere Pro for AAF export. All right, let's hop right into it. Okay, our first step is going to be to export a reference movie with burn-in timecode of our sequence that we're going to be sending to mix. This is going to be useful for the audio technician so that they can ensure sync throughout the process. Now the file that we're going to make here today is an H.264. That works for us here in Henninger with our post workflow and the software that we have on hand. However, the file type that you make is ultimately going to depend on what system is being used by your audio technician. So open a dialog with them and find out what file works best for the system that they have on their end. Set your in and out points for the entire length of the program. Go up to File, Export, Media. The format that we want to select here in the drop down menu is H.264. And our preset, we can go with the Adobe preset of Match Source High Bitrate. Go to the Effects tab here down on the left and select Timecode Overlay. It's the fifth one down. If your timecode doesn't pop up immediately, just scrub through your video a little bit. It should be there. We'll increase the size a little bit. And I also like to increase the opacity, bump it up to 100 so it's easy to see. And we're going to throw this up in the top left just to get it a little bit more out of the way. Now we should be ready to export. Go ahead and save this in the same folder where you intend to save the AAF later. It'll be easy to bunch them together that way. With your sequence selected, go over to File, Export, AAF. This dialog box is going to open up. Let's discuss some of the options here. Mix down video. You do not want this selected. This was taken care of when we created the reference video in the beginning of this tutorial. We want to enable Breakout to Mono. You can leave Render Audio Clip Effects unchecked. Sample rate, 48,000, and bits per sample, 24. For files, we can go to Embed Audio and Format Broadcast Wave. Render files, we do want to trim our audio files. Now handles and frames, we want to give about three full seconds worth of handles. So take the frame rate of your project and multiply it by three. Since this is a 25 frame per second project, I'm going to add 75 handles. Click OK and you're going to be prompted with a dialog box that's going to ask you to name and also where to save your AAF. Go ahead and save it alongside the reference movie that we made earlier. Okay, once your AAF is completed, you can go ahead and upload that along with the movie with burn-in timecode that we made earlier to your audio professional and you're good to go. Now this tutorial only covers one basic workflow. There are other ways to deliver audio for mastering, sound design, and mixing, but this is just the method that we prefer here at Henninger. Now it hasn't covered troubleshooting either, so if you have any major issues with this step, feel free to contact us here at Henninger Media Services. We'd be glad to help you out. Now our next tutorial is going to cover what happens when you receive those files back from Mix and you need to re-import them properly back into your project and you need to set up a sequence for final delivery. All right guys, see you in the next tutorial.